Hi guys, Shane here, Oz Flight Simmer. Welcome to another video. Today we are checking out X Camera 4 X Plane 11. This is video two of a series of three videos. In the previous episode, we checked out how to set up uh, your cockpit views and also your external views. Now, in this episode, we are going to take a look at cinematic views around the aircraft. So, we're going to do custom cinematic views, we're going to uh, set up a flyby view, and also set up up an orbital view uh, which you're looking at now and we'll go through the steps of how to do that so time to jump straight into it and let's go and set up some cinematic views the first views we're going to set up today are cinematic views added camera one to category category five so you set these up initially just as the previous uh, cockpit views and the external views that we set up before. We're just adding a new category called cinematic views. And once we do that, we're going to take off smooth transitions for the moment. And the first thing that we need to do is basically go around the aircraft and set up the different views that we need. So that's the first one. Added camera two to category cinematic external. Just adding the second one now. Now I'm gonna do this really randomly um, and have a different angles and zoom in in different areas of the aircraft and mix it up a little bit. So that's number Added two. Added camera we'll three to category three. cinematic external. And just using the mouse and the assigned keyboard um, to set up the view. So we'll go over the wing and do a bit of a back view. Added camera four to category cinematic external. And that's the next one. Do a one around the tail. We'll save that one and move to the other side. We'll probably do maybe six views in total. Added camera 5 to category cinematic external. We'll try to get some low views in there as well. Zoom in one underneath the uh, tail and underneath the uh, wing. Added camera 6 to category cinematic external. And the last one, and we'll try to get this positioned underneath the wing so we get a cool cinematic shot. There. Perfect, we'll hit save. And now we've got our six views, so we're just panning around, just as we would have set them up previously on uh, the external views. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna add a smooth transition to them all. So I'm just gonna scan through and quickly do that. one more there we go we've got our smooth transition just like we did previously setting up our external views now the next thing that we want to do to make them cinematic is we want to stretch the frames out now you can do this two ways by uh, changing the transition speed or um, changing the frames so I like actually changing the frames. I've got different presets amounts that I think work best in different situations. So for a pan around an aircraft it is 500. So I'm just typing that in um, between each scene. And there we go. And it's basically doing the external smooth transition, um, but stretching that out. So at the moment the views are moving because I've got a button binded on my yoke and doing it manually. Uh, we want to change this to automatic. So I'm going to set um, a check a, a box for auto advance to the next camera on every view that we've had set up. There we go, last one there. Actually one more to go. And what that should do is that should cycle through all the views. Um, but one thing I need to do is hit the checkbox box on the bottom left, which is um, allow auto advance. And with magic, it will then just keep cycling around the aircraft to 
all the different views. But one thing you may have noticed, it slightly pauses in between uh, the transitions to the views. So we're going to do some work in that area um, by adding a smooth camera join. And basically what this does is it slows down the frames, um, the last 60 and the first 60 between all the different views. And that should make that transition in between the views look a lot more cinematic. So going through and checking all those, that should be done now. We'll hit save, and then we'll cycle through our views. There we go. So it sort of stops um, that pausing and makes it a lot more smoother. So that's how to set up cinematic views for an aircraft. It's probably the hardest out of the three that I'm showing you today. So now we're going to jump into orbital views and set one up that for the C90 as well. So the next cinematic view we're going to show you is orbital views. So basically we click the orbital button. Um, there's only a couple of things you need to change for a size of the C90 twin turbo. The radius I would normally use is about 15. Uh, for something smaller like a 152 I'd use 12 then you really only need to change the maximum height and the minimum height and that's just the height of the camera so you can get it to start off high and go down low but I like to use 3 and 3 and the next one is the duration so you can set the duration of the spin of the orbital so obviously if you want to set at 10 seconds compared to 30 seconds it will go around a lot quicker then we just need to checkbox the continuous because this basically sets up 20 different cameras around the aircraft and we allow for auto advance again and hit save and we're all done. The orbital view is a very easy and effective way of setting up camera views to look at your aircraft. It looks great when the, the uh, aircraft is on the ground, taxiing or in the air. I've got some awesome shots using different uh, types of uh, orbital views. So now we're going to jump into the last one, which is my favorite. Uh, we're going to get the C90 in the air and take a look at setting up some flybys. And last but not least is the flyby camera views, which is my favorite. You can find this just underneath where the orbital camera views are. And first off, we're going to call this flyby one um, camera attack heading. I never changed that. The initial height in meters I'll leave as three. Um, so these are the, the metrics as I put in before. So that's how high you want to start the uh, flyby from. Uh, next one is distance in meters. So how far you want the flyby to do. Um, X, so X in meters is how far away you want to be um, when you do your flyby. Uh, Z, I've never ever changed, and Y is um, the height in meters when it actually flies by the aircraft. Now, duration, uh, you can change your duration of your flyby. Obviously, being a slower aircraft, you want to move it or make it shorter. Being a quicker aircraft, you want to change it to be um, longer. Then you just need to click save, and your flyby is done. So that concludes the cinematic views for aircraft. On the next uh, episode of the X Camera series, we'll be checking out airport views and also free camera views. And also, please let us know in the comments below if you want to see more tutorials on the Ozflight Simmer channel. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you like this sort of stuff, uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done also. And uh, thank you very much and have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.